Happy Halloween, everybody. Happy, happy Halloween. Welcome back to Real Talk with SLR. How are you guys doing today? Well, guys, um, as you guys know, it's Halloween. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, today is going to be a very, very good day. Yes. Yes. We got the uh, kiddos up and dressed in their costumes and uh, yep. got them all set up and ready to go for Halloween. Sent them all off to school. They feel all uh, excited and proud and everything that they're oh. able to wear their costumes. It's always a fun time for them, you know, get to dress up and it's always exciting for them to be able to show everybody what they are and no. go see all their friends and see what they are. And um, they have a very fun day planned at school with candy and treats and um, games and just, you know, fun stuff. It's going to be a fun day for them at school today. No. So. Yeah, Julia is a uh, witch. Yep. Scarlet is a pirate. Yep. And Abraham's a vampire. Yeah. Actually, <laughs> um, I got some pictures. I took some pictures this morning uh, before the kids went off to uh, to school. They look so cute. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, it was a good morning uh, this morning. We had our coffee, got them down there and to the bus stop. Look at that. Got them all dressed up. Look at that. They look so cute. <laughs> this one's adorable. Look at Abe. <laughs> oh, it's so great, man. They are they're just so excited and they're having a great look at look at him. <laughs> uh, they had a they're having a really good uh good day so far. I had to wake up extra early so that way I could make sure to get all of their, their little makeup done their and costume their hair makeup. and all that. Yeah, but it was worth it. I don't yes. mind. I don't. I don't mind yes. one bit if it makes the day extra special for them. So, um, uh, <clears throat> Gary and I have got a lot of work we're going to get done today. It's actually a beautiful day outside. Yes. I don't think it's. Um, I think it's in the mid seventies right now. I don't know what the high is going to be today. Did you look? It's mid seventies for mid the high. Mid right now it's about like 50, 52. It looks a lot there. warmer than that. I mean, it feels it, but. I don't know. That's what it says on the phone, at least. Yeah. We need to get a thermometer for outside, outside. That's true. We should get one for outside, outside. We just need to, like, stake it to the tree or something. Mm hmm So that way it'd be more accurate. Because yeah. I think if we put it on the concrete block wall, it might make might. it seem like it's colder than it actually is. Yeah. If we put it out on the tree, then it'll, like, be in the sun. No. I can tell you what it's like out in the sun or whatever, but... I know it's going to be a beautiful day. Um, Gary and I have to put old Betsy back to work today. Hopefully she don't die on us. I'm hoping. Hopefully. I'm going to grease her up again. I mean, she's already pretty greased. But she is. I mean, like, I touched the teeth on it, and I had to, like, bleh. Yeah. Gross. I have more grease, so I'm going to try to grease that thing up and uh, get it a little bit more greased up. Well, but it's definitely not the belt. Gary, no. check the belt. And it... I just, At first, it sounded like the belt was slapping in there. Yeah. You know, I was like, hmm. And I went and checked the tension on it, and the tension's good. So I was like, okay, there, it's not ripped or anything else. It's, you know. It's either that or it's the actual motor just, you know, slipping or something. No, I think it's the teeth. That you think it is the teeth, I like I thought? I think it's the teeth. Yeah. yeah. I think it's because the weight, like, that was a lot of weight for it. Like, the mortar itself is probably way more than what we need to be putting in there. We should probably be doing a quarter bag at a time. Well, it's a concrete mixer, you know? <laughs> no, I know, but that's where I'm like, and we're doing half a bag, you know, and one bag is 92 pounds. Yeah, so. So it's 41 pounds just with the mortar mix. More plus than all the sand. No, I know, I'm just saying, just for the, the mortar mix is 41 pounds. Well, 41 and 41 is 82, not 92. Oh, yeah. No, no. <laughs> so. 46, my bad. There you go. <laughs> It's still the morning, all right? <laughs> I'm only poking at you because you, you know darn yes, well know. you would poke at me. No, I would have probably sit and been like, wait, you no, yeah. I probably would have cracked it. <laughs> Good catch. Good catch. <laughs> I'm just saying, it's a lot of weight. Yes. So, like, each batch is So, 46 is probably... pounds, and then plus the sand alone, you're talking about at least another, like, eight, I'd say 80 pounds in just the sand, you know? And then the water itself is probably another... 20 so you're talking about like a good i don't know it's a lot it's like 200 pounds that you're putting in there it's a lot and it's heavy and the wheelbarrow is definitely it's very heavy when you pour the mortar in there and you're pushing it around it's a lot so i mean we've 
I'm happy that that little Harbor Freight uh, concrete mixer was able to do this entire basement for us. And it's done slabs over for the first well at camp. It did the slab over here for our second well that we just did. It's done some, uh, footings, some uh, and footings and post holes for David, come on, for Anthony and Roxanne, Country Road Care. It's done some here for us as well. I mean, we have that well. for sure gotten the work out of that out thing. Out of that two hundred and fifty dollar Harbor Freight mixer. Yeah, so it's definitely has uh, seen better <laughs> days. But we uh, got our money worth out of it. Mm -hmm. I'm hoping that when we use it today. So the thing that we got to do today is we're going to be pouring a slab for our um, our filter house yep. for our for our little filters to filter the water that goes inside the basement. And that will also go upstairs to the cabin when we get to building that as well. So we gotta do, um, Gary already has the posts in the ground. They're already concreted in the ground. You guys saw us mix that in the wheelbarrow um, yes. and put it in there. But now we gotta do like another small slab so that way we can build that filter house and <laughs> get that checked off the old list. Cause those are the things, you know, that we need to do before winter really comes and it starts freezing all the time. We have it still wrapped up with all that um, plastic and insulation and it's been fine, but we don't want to keep it that way for all of the winter. No. So. So it's going to be, uh, it's going to be good. It shouldn't yeah. take us too long. Mm -mm. We should be able to knock this one out. I hope so. And uh, I just hope old Betsy doesn't die in the middle of it. It might, but I hope it doesn't. It'd be sad. <laughs> I'd be very, very sad. I mean, we'll just have to bust out the wheelbarrow if that's the case, you know. I mean, it's only concrete. It's not that <laughs> bad. I mean, we could do it, but no, I know. No. I'd rather use the mixer, but we'll see. Yes. We'll see how today goes. Um, other than doing the slab today, Gary and I have to, while the kids are gone, we got to come back and we have to start making all of the clues. Yes. So the, it is Halloween and the kids are going to be coming home. One of our family traditions that we do Every year for the kids is we do a Halloween scavenger hunt. Um, we don't always go trick-or-treating or anything. Um, we've always lived kind of, like ever since we left Las Vegas, when we moved to Arizona, we've lived out in the, in the country, essentially. Yep. And so our kids have, for the most of their lives, been raised in the country. There were some years where we would take them to Boulder City, which was like the closest, next city. closest <laughs> city, town, yeah. whatever, by Las Vegas on the outskirts. And we'd take them there to go trick-or-treating, but we didn't do that every year. It was kind of just like once in a while. But what we did always do every year was we'd have a scavenger hunt for the kids to find their candy bowls. And so what we like to do around <laughs> Halloween time is we buy just a bunch of candy and we fill up a bowl, a Halloween you know, pumpkin bucket or whatever for the kids to have as their own candy bowl. And then we hide them. <laughs> we hide it somewhere on the property or we hide it somewhere, you know, and then the kids get an envelope of clues and they have to- Or a clue. A clue, they get, yeah, you're right. They get an envelope with a clue in it. And then we have already had all the clues hiding throughout the property. So they'll read it and it'll be like a puzzle, um, like a rhyme or some of some sort. And they have to go from spot to spot to spot. It'll, they'll figure out the clue. It'll take them to a spot. When they get to that spot, then they'll find another clue and that'll take them to another one. And it just goes, all around the whole property, the kids run around, they go nuts. It takes probably like at least an hour or so to do with them. Um, but it's something that they really look forward to every year. And it's become <laughs> like our family tradition on Halloween. So after we do the concrete, got to come in, got to think of the clues and got to start coming up with where we're going to hide it and what we're going to do with it and everything and how we're going to go about it. And it all has to get done before the kids come home from school today. Because as soon as they come home from school today, they're going to be like, Mom, Dad, let's, where's our scavenger hunt? Where's my candy bowl? Yep. So we're going to have to get on top of that here in a little bit. I'm just glad that, but, you know, the sun is still out when yeah. they get home. Yeah. And it's uh, not super dark or anything else like that. Just True. yet. Isn't this just weekend yet. daylight savings time? Yep. November 6th. I'm not looking forward to that. Yeah. We're gonna gain an hour, but lose a uh, lose an hour of sunlight at, in the evening. Yeah, but we'll gain it in the morning. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Which is, I don't know, it's weird. It is weird. I wish <laughs> that they would just stop the daylight savings time thing altogether already and just let it be what it be. But I mean, waiting on the house. Yeah. Waiting on the house. 
Yeah, they had talks about it in the government to change it around. Well, they already passed it in whatever the, what is it, Congress or Senate or whatever, whatever <clears throat> the opposite is. I'm not smart with that stuff. <laughs> Whichever one it was, if they, they passed, passed it, it in, in the Congress. They're waiting for it in the Senate. Yeah, whatever that is. Yeah, but we'll see. I'm not sure. I'm not sure what's going on with that, but uh, it does make for a confusing time every spring and fall, and having to get used to different sleeping schedules and. That's the one thing I like about all that. Arizona. Yeah, Arizona's on their own time. They're like, no. <laughs> We're just staying on this time, and that's it. We're doing what we want. <laughs> no, some states are like that. It's not just Arizona, but I can't remember all of them. I, as far as I knew, it was only Arizona. Oh, no, there's others. There are? Mm-hmm. There's other if ones there. If you guys know what they are, drop it down and learn us a little something. Mm -hmm. <laughs> That'd be awesome. But it's, uh, it's funny to me. It's, it was all for the farmers. It wasn't for anything else. It was for the transport, not really the farmers. Like it was for transporting the goods. So that way the transporter knew what time and everything else. And going through state to state is different timing and everything else. And then it's also, they didn't want to be going at night. And the farmer was like, man, I'm waking up at this time. And it don't matter what time it is. It's, I just follow the sun and. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> We're going to have to be, all of us are going to have to be dealing with that uh, here really soon. This week is going to be, um, very busy for us as well too because in the in the middle of the week so Wednesday that's actually Scarlett's birthday so we're gonna be doing like a little home thing for her we're gonna cook her her favorite meal um, have a little birthday cake and stuff for here or her at the house and then this weekend we're gonna be having a small get-together for Scarlett's birthday like her actual party so um, She's kind of getting two celebrations in a way. She's gonna have the favorite meal and like the small just our family kind of a thing. And then the weekend she's gonna get, you know, grandma and cousins oh. and all that stuff. So it's gonna be a very busy week for us. <sighs> and then, oh, yeah. yeah, lots more stuff to be building and doing around this house as well, I'm trying but, to finish off. You know what's awesome? What's that? This week is gonna be beautiful. It is, this weather is looking gorgeous. <laughs> so that's a plus. It's a huge plus. Yeah. Um, we're going to be able to get that slab done and get a lot of this other stuff that we need to get done outside. Yeah. Get that done. Yeah. And work on the rest of the stuff that we need to do inside, which requires us working outside. Yeah. All the little cuts and everything else like that. And uh, we can start working on the insulation. Yay. I know. We have to rolling. buy all the insulation, which I think after... Um, this weekend we might be able to because i mean we got to push through this week because again we have a lot of family plans and stuff going on and then there's these other projects like the well filters and stuff that we're, we're already kind of in the middle of that we want to tighten up some before uh, we squirrel off to something else and the insulation we definitely want to get it done um, well before uh, thanksgiving and stuff we, we probably will start purchasing it or at least getting it here on the property by next week and then installing it as soon as we get it. Nope. We're not going to have any kind of wait to install it. It's going to be once we get it. It's going to go in. Yeah, let's get it in. <laughs> <laughs> it's it's going to be inside here because I don't want to leave it outside. Yeah. You know, even though rock wool, you can leave it in the wrap it, uh, the wrapping as long as it's not open. Yeah. You can leave it outside in the elements. I still wouldn't want to, though. I wouldn't want to, but yeah. that is one thing that they state and they claim. I don't know if I trust it, though. I mean, I wouldn't, I wouldn't leave it out with the elements, elements anyway. I would put it inside, like, either the storage tent or, like, no, yeah. you know, the tool shed tent or somewhere. It'd go somewhere, just no, not, I, the, not the animal house. No, I, I trust <laughs> it. I, I feel you somewhere. with that. It would go somewhere. But it would come in here. Yeah, no, It we'll would literally it just come in here and be a huge pile and be like, all right, well, that's motivation to get it out of the way by yeah. doing it. So let's get it. Yeah, and it won't take us too long to do it. I don't see it taking us more than a no. day or two to do the whole basement. I, I don't see it taking longer than a day, to be quite honest. I'm just saying, you never know. Me. Like, it depends on how you're... Because doing this stuff, just like how when we were doing um, all the wiring and stuff, you know, you're, like, bent over backwards, and it just depends on how much your body can take in a day of it being in that position. No, I hear you. So, I don't see it either way. I'm saying it'll probably take us a day. No. Tomorrow by noon, babe. Tomorrow by noon. Tomorrow by noon. That's what I thought by the well was going <laughs> to take us a day. 
I was wrong. <laughs> he was wrong. <laughs> and the funny thing is, is like I was thinking about it and I told Mel, I was like, honestly, I feel like I could have laid more blocks like and been at the same time frame or longer, like just by a little bit. But I've had laid a lot more blocks, you know, and that's just because of the corners. Yeah. I get two, I get two done and then I'm on to that corner. Yeah, and the corners like, are time consuming. Yes, because you have to make sure it's level. Also, that That's well house was point. like a really tight space with the leads. Mm -hmm. I mean, when we were doing it over there, it was a very tight, tight quarters. And then on the last day when we finished it off and it was just me and you working, you were like, screw the tray. I'm just going to work out of the out of the wheelbarrow instead of trying to worm, you know, the past wheel. Every, yeah. If I'm worming past everything regardless to get the mud over there, I'm like, yeah, I might as well just walk back and forth and worm it and... Just it was save. easier. It was easier, I felt like, just because it was that small. But at the but, same time, more work. Yes. <laughs> so it's it's one of those things, you know? No. But I don't see it. We don't have any block work to do any immediate future. I mean, we do have some block stuff. We've talked to you guys about it on the last one of the last Real Talk with SLRs. Um, we talked about how we're going to make some patio furniture, how we want to make our fire pit out there. And then we also are going to be using block for some of the garden beds and stuff. And so those things are going to be coming up soon. Uh, but I, besides the patio furniture, I don't think any of them need mortar or anything, unless you want to do the, that with the fireplace. I do want to do that with the fireplace. Okay. Well then the only thing that's like, not getting mortar then I guess would just be the garden beds yeah. because I want to be able to change those up as I would I like. Need. I would like to uh, actually get the rocks, like the flat stones. Mm -hmm. We got to be careful because some of those, if we put it in there, will explode. Mm -hmm. So I might end up going and buying the actual uh, rocks for that. Because a lot of the rocks that we have are sandstone, and those are the ones that will explode. Well, we got to just... <laughs> I don't want shards coming everywhere. Do some research before, uh, yeah. before all that. But we could use it as a fire pit with just the block. Yes, we can use it. Just but with you're the talking blocks. about when we go to decorate, kind yeah, of thing, make, and it, make it make look it look like a nice prettier. cobblestone circle one or whatever. No, I hear you. I hear you. Or a actual rock stone or whatever. I will say the weather is changing though, and I'm gonna want to get on top of that fire pit soon. Yeah. Like because I know this weekend, um, if we have the family over and stuff for Scarlett's birthday, like Patrick is supposed to be coming out. And so if Patrick comes out, I'm sure we're going to want to do some fire pit action and hang out, you know, like it, it is getting colder at night and I love burning fires. I know you do. So nice. <laughs> the crackling and the smell and the warmth. It's just beautiful. I love it. I love, I love having fires. So. <laughs> what are you cackling over there for? You. <laughs> I know you love the fires. I do. So. Maybe we'll get on that sometime so we can, maybe we'll, that's not going to take too long. That's a quick thing. No. You know? I, I mean. Tomorrow by noon. <laughs> Tomorrow by noon. <laughs> uh, maybe uh, I'll steal the dirt from that area to f raise up the, the filter house. Yeah, because we got to work on that today. You point, point me in the direction of where that is, where you want it exactly, and I'll dig the hole. Sounds like a plan. I like the sound of that. <laughs> Kill two birds with one stone. Yep. Or so we're going to <laughs> we're gonna be doing a lot of recording today of what we can get into. I will see about uh, showing you guys what we're doing over there with the filter house. And when the kids come home, maybe we'll bring you guys along for the scavenger hunt and just kind of record today. And you guys will see it out on our main channel, Simple Life Reclaimed, tomorrow for y'all. Mm -hmm. uh, I plan on uh, recording, editing, and uploading today, being done with it all tonight, so that way you guys can have it tomorrow. Um, and I will have plenty more updates for you guys as this week progresses. I know that, I'll just let you guys know that Wednesday we are planning on doing our one live stream a month, because a while back we decided that we were going to stop doing weekly live streams, and we were going to just start doing one live stream a month at the beginning of the month, well, it's going to be the beginning of the month tomorrow, so uh, this Wednesday we will be doing the live stream, and I hope that you guys can join us. We're going to have some giveaways. We're going to make it be really fun, yes. very interactive, um, and that should be, I think we're going to do it on here on Real Talk with SLR. 
So we're just gonna always keep all these chat type formats here on Real Talk with SLR. So maybe I'll make mention in it today on Simple Life when we're talking. So that way, if people don't watch this channel, then they can find out and then they can. <laughs> <laughs> so, uh, but we got a very busy week. I have so much on my agenda. There's so many little squirrels just running around right now, just with so much stuff and we got to get working on it because if we don't get off our booties and get to it, then the day will just pass us by and yes. the next thing we know, the kids are going to be home asking for their scavenger hunt and we're going to be like, uh, <laughs> so. Yeah, I don't want that. <laughs> No, so we get, we're gonna get a lot done today. I'll be filming it, editing it, see, put it out for you guys tomorrow, um, and we will also be back here on Real Talk with SLR tomorrow for you guys as well. So I hope oh, that yes. you guys have a very happy Halloween. Be safe, be smart, smarter than the average bear. Yes. Um, and have a lot of fun. Have a lot of fun. Yes. So until the next one, guys, we love y'all, and we hope you have a good one. And we'll catch you on the next one. Bye, you guys. Later, later.